what's up everyone? Welcome to What's in Your Bag. I'm your host, Melissa New, with my co-host here, Mr. Chase Reynolds Hi. of Lens Rentals. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. Let's just talk as if Mr. Joe McNally is not sitting right next Ooh. to us. Please carry on. <laughs> okay. I'll just, I can go to sleep standing up. Good. So this is early issue. in the morning. It is. Are you bringing your feisty this early in the morning? We'll see, Melissa. It depends on how good you are. Oh, okay. So, well, yes. game face on. <laughs> we want to talk about gear. The D810 versus the D4. Okay. You, you said you said that you upgraded. Tell me. And also the D800. Because I come from a D800, and I just recently up, upgraded to the D810 as well. Mm -hmm. And there are definitely some improvements that I'm enjoying, so I'll just kind of let hear your opinion on it. See if we're... Yeah, I mean, the D810 is a very expansive camera for me mm -hmm. now because the D800, for me, had a ceiling of about ISO 400 or so. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe 800. It was not geared to be a particularly um, high ISO type of camera. If I was going to venture into high ISO land, I would go back to a D4 at that point, or now a D4S. Oh, yeah, yeah. But now I feel like the cap is off. You know, the, the restrictions are gone. I've seen that camera perform at ISO 3200. And combining that kind of high ISO response with the res of the camera, that's kind of cool, yeah. you know? So to me, now it's a camera that's not just a studio camera, it's also a camera for available light and maybe even low qualities of available light. Yeah, do you find that? Have you enjoyed going from the 800 to 810? Yeah, there are a bunch of improvements I saw. Um, my first was, when I first clicked the trigger, I felt it was a lot quieter. So you were talking about you know the DF you know a minute ago and it's kind of like it's a little more reserved it doesn't you know it's not flashy and all that kind of stuff sound for me plays a big part of that so sometimes I don't want to be clunk 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 you know like I'm a machine gun yeah. at some private event or something so yeah. um, the sound quality was great yeah. um, when I was using the D800 before trying to do things like like time lapse mm -hmm. or anything that involved a lot of sh you know I don't necessarily need the full file size mm -hmm. of the D800 which is this huge 36 megapixel beast having the small raw option now in the uh, d810 has been a lifesaver for me really have you had a chance to play with that yet i have not that's a good point um there's still aspects of the camera that you know i should mess around with uh the the other thing that i've enjoyed about the d810 being a, a flash shooter to a degree is um, the d4 series came out with a checkoff where you could uh it separate and it was entire frame, you know, uh, which would factor your flash compensation into the overall equation of the picture. Or you could check out of that where your flash compensation became independent from your camera compensation, which was an important development for me. I think it's actually check off E4. I'm, I'm trying to compute everything yeah. that you just said. You're just yeah. saying yeah, big yeah. words. Yeah, it's it's, it's big in words. the menu. It, that should confirm for you, Melissa. That, what, the Joe? Fact that it's I coming. That, I have no life. <laughs> I, have, I have absolutely no life. The fact that I know that is E4 in the, in the okay. menu. But D800 did not have that option. D810 does. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that to me is an important, small but important wrinkle. The fact that I can separate flash compensation from camera compensation and spin those wheels independently of each other, valuable. Okay. Well, Joe, tell us where we can find your work. For people who have not seen Joe's work, I would definitely check it out. What is your website? Uh, www.midnighttatler.com. <laughs> No, okay. <laughs> I you're knew from it. Vegas. I knew <laughs> it. Something. You right. never know if you're serious. You just never know. I'm just. MID. I'm going to go with JoeMcNally.com. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. go with the obvious here. Yeah, JoeMcNally.com. I write a blog, JoeMcNally.com backslash blog. Uh, we have, in, ter in terms of gear, there's a, uh, uh, you know, a hot link on my blog, uh, Joe's Camera Bag. Just click on that. Nice. Basically everything that we use or are current with, that's right there on those pages. Excellent. And it, definitely check out his work, but I am a big fan of his writing. And it's interesting to find out that you were going to be a writing major, or that's what you studied. So he has such a brilliant way of writing, has such a good way of teaching, and really puts things into um, good perspective and really something that I can relate with. So thank you for all that you put into your, your work and your writing. And we talked a lot about gear, D800, D810, lots of lenses. I definitely check out the folks over at Lens Rentals. Chase is a great guy. His team is working hard. You know, you don't have to buy all these things. Not everyone has the Joe McNally budget, but definitely check out lensrentals.com and, and try out some of these gear. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. No sarcastic yeah. remarks to, to close out? 
No, I just it's just been swell to see you again, it's Melissa. It's been so <laughs> swell, Joe.